Hey guys, it's HyperShadow623 doing a YouTube video for once. Yeah, it's been almost a year since I posted the last video, which was my almost at my mock anniversary video, which is coming up when I'm recording this in about two months. Sad thing is, I have school that day. First day of school is that day, so that'll be fun. Anyway, that's not what we're here to talk about. I've decided to do a review of a very recently made mock, only about three, four days old, maybe five. Um, made for the Bio Cup. It's on mock pages. Um, I'm recording this on June 28th, so you still have about mm, three days to enter it if you want to do it. I hope to have this video up on the same day that I make it. But, um, yeah, this is my new character. I like to call him Volts, which is his code name. The real name is Ryako. We can get back down to the backstory, which is a very short one, very easy for me to remember. Um, if you follow the Bionicle storyline, which I try to do, but sometimes I really can't since I make my own. Um, he lived on Spheres Magna for in for a time period I don't really know the time period didn't really make that up but he lived there until Teradox died and like well before we get to that Vomatorin to Matorin of Electricity just gonna get that out of the way um, he was a Vomatorin very special one because he's one of the only males Vomatorin to ever live and he doesn't have control of blue or white lightning, he controls green. And he also doesn't have the traditional color scheme of Vomitorin. He Vomitorin have white and blue color schemes while he has a Katorange and blue. But um Yeah. Well when all when Teradax died on Spheres Magna during the fight with Modernui. After that, all the Vomitorin fled Fierce Magna for some reason. I can't really remember the reason, if there was a reason. And he was one of them that fled. And he ended up on on Fearless Magna in the newer days of the Makuta Toa War. Which was basically what was happening on Spheres Magna, just on Fearless Magna. It's not going to end because basically Atukum is the paradox of the planet. Um... Ryko did not have a nickname until he hit the planet. Everyone started calling him Volts because not many people actually know who he is, but they know of the crimes and people he has saved, but they don't really recognize him. And from his electricity powers, and they just called him Volts. He doesn't like to be seen. He likes to do his crimes, or he likes to save crimes outside of knowing if that makes any sense. But, um, he is a Toa of Electricity. The Toa know of his presence. They know who he is. I think they're the only people that know who he is. But he has not joined the team and he does not plan on doing it anytime soon. I thought about making a secondary Toa team and him as a leader or a member, but seeing as I don't know how I would go about that, I might not do that. I might. We'll see what happens. That's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about volts. So, getting on with the backstory, having it done, we shall get on with the mock itself. Sorry, I had to take a little pause. Thought the most that thought someone was coming in to talk. Didn't want to interrupt the review. Hmm. Alright, standing up position. Here we have the legs. Um, your typical custom leg. Borok skeletons. Mono feet in blue. Uh, ankle brace. Ancient orange. A foot ancient orange. Some Technic lift arms. Nothing too special. He used to have stock limbs. Here and here. Um... If you remember the Vapor set, I believe, Vapor and Bulk 
from Hero Factory 1.0. He had the upper legs of Vapor, which was like the Ben, Tets, ben 10 upper legs, but in blue. And the lower leg was just an Anika lower leg with this and this on it, but it wasn't as impressive. These were too skinny. Um, entering in the bio cup, I entered the old version, and I wish I could have entered this one. Um, that was the biggest thing they picked at, was that. So I decided, let's change this, let's make it a lot better. And here's what I came up with. I thought it looks, I thought it looked really good. But, yeah. After that, that was a little interruption there. Um, anywho, legs. Yeah. Upper legs, we just have some key orange engine parts. Uh, custom limb, blah, 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 Nuparu, Mari pieces on the back in black. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, in the waist, we have a custom waist. Uh, a lot bigger than what I usually do. But, um, I kind of had to because of his back. Um, just normal pieces, Borak eyes, technical lift arms. Key torn's hand, nothing too special. Chest, chest is someone, something everyone seems to like. Adding that mono foot right there, um, a little heart light and light blue and translucent blue. Um, adding lightning pieces right here. They go in out of his back. Some Borak eyes, pretty pretty cool in my per in my perspective at least. It's pretty on the spot idea, and I really liked it. Um, moving on. Uh, the arms are pre pretty much just stock arms from Hero Factory. Uh, these are pretty much the only non-custom thing at the moment. Uh, you have some Hero Factory pieces. This is basically a mock when, before I made the custom legs. It was pretty much a mix of some of my birthday presents, which was two Surges and one Dragon Bolt. So I basically made this with that and a couple extra pieces here and there, a couple studs, blah blah blah. But anywho, yeah. The, that's where pretty much the arms came out of. And the head is just the normal surge, brain attack surge head. Um, flip it under, you get the mask. This I like to call a battle visor when he's about to battle, that's what he uses. Um, otherwise, he mostly does this, sometimes does this. He looks better like that, so I keep it down. Um, the back and the shoulders is my favorite part because of all the stuff I added onto it. I mean, if you see it from the top view, it looks really nice. You see it from a side view, it looks really discharge-like. It's like electrical pulses are just surging out of them. Very cool, very new for me to add such weird mechanics to it. Put him in that compose. Um, weapon, something I like to call an Emerald Thunder Spear, his control of green lightning. Put that in his hand. Emerald Lightning, Emerald Thunder Staff, not Thunder Spear. Seems more like a spear than a staff, and some of the staff broke off. But, you know, you do with what you get. And that is what it looks like. Very, it's not too big, but it's kind of big on the end. I like it a lot, though. I'm sorry, that was my final interruption. Seem, people seem to really want to talk to me. Hallelujah. Um, like I said, this is his weapon, Emerald Thunder Staff, not Spear, entry to my 2013 Bio Cup, which is my first Bio Cup for anyone who really cares. Um, probably not a lot of people watching this since I kind of died a year ago. Not on mock pages though, I seem to be posting there a lot more. Not much is there, but I've been posting a lot more. Um, a size comparison with... Proto Suit Mark II. If anyone follows me on mock pages, then you would know the Proto Suit Mark I, Dexter in the Proto Suit. Here's a size comparison. Um, he is significantly taller. He used to be the same height as someone, or they used to be the same height as him. 
but not anymore since of the new legs. Um, there's a lot of ums in this review. Maybe do one more size comparison with a very, very, ooh, a very no thought put into it mock. Just a little stupid thing I built out of free time. Um, some sort of bio bounty hunter. Uh, they're about the same height if you stand them up like this. They're, yeah, they're pretty much the same height. So, yeah, that is my review, and I hope I can post it as soon as possible and not just keep it in my folders. This is Hyperseto623 signing out, and goodbye.